What's up everybody? How are you doing today? Welcome to another video. It is Sabat here. Welcome all. Today, we will learn together how to pronounce correctly just like a native speaker. When a native speaker speaks, now it's not that difficult anymore because when he speaks too fast, we can now understand what is he saying or mixing together that makes things complicated for us. Now we have the key to solve these problems. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first word is let me, let me. But native speakers don't pronounce it let me because that's too heavy on them. So they just say let me. All right. Let's put it in a sentence so that you know how we actually use it. Let me help you carrying your bags. Let me help you carrying your bags. Let me help you. All right, use it. Next, the word want to, want to want to native speakers say it wanna wanna let's put it in a sentence and just use it so that it becomes clearer i wanna go home i wanna go home i wanna go home i want to go home becomes I want to go home so I want to go home just let me go home right don't you don't you don't you all right this is how we know it but native speakers say it this way don't you don't you don't you don't you? Don't you want to go home? Don't you want to go home? Don't you want to go home? Which means, don't you want to go home? So, don't you? Don't you? I think that we all have heard of this word. I have too. It has similar form which is got to. It's the same as I have to. So native speakers don't say got to like this. They say gotta, gotta, gotta. All right? So I gotta go home. I gotta go home, which means I gotta go home. I got to go home. But we slightly pronounce it like R sound. It's like I gotta go home. I gotta go home. When we speak just fast, like normal, we say I gotta go home. All right, guys. So this word, I'm sure every one of you know it very well. So it's going to. I'm going to the school. I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to the park, right? We all know it. But native speakers say it this way. Listen. Gonna. 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 I'm gonna go to the supermarket. I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna go to the studio. Whatever, you know? All right, so now we'll move on to the form of have to. Have to, okay? Have to, it's pronounced in American English, have to, have to, okay? So, in a sentence, I have to do my homework today. 
I have to go early to the meeting. I have to do my best tomorrow. All right? So, have to has another form, which is singular. It's used with he, she, it, which is has to. It's pronounced in American English as has to. So, has to is has to. We also have this very well-known word, which is give me. Give me. Give me in American English is pronounced as gimme. So, gimme some money. Gimme some food. Gimme everything you got. Give me, gimme. All right? Practice it. You will be perfect at it because practice makes perfect. Now we reach to my favorite one of them, which is don't know. Don't know. They often say it in this way. They say don't know or rono, just like the ra sound instead of the de. All right, so I don't know means I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? So I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Or I don't know. I don't know. This is a faster form of don't know. Now we move on to the word out of. Out of. Out of is pronounced as out of. Out of. Example. I am out of my mind. I am out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. It's out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control becomes it's out of control. It's out of control. Out of, out of. Out of, out of. On to the final one, kind of. Kind of. Kind of is pronounced as kinda. Kinda. And sometimes they don't even pronounce the de sound. Kinda. Kinda. All right? So, example, it's kind of weird to say that. It's kind of exaggerated. It's kind of exaggerated. It's kind of exaggerated. All right? All right, thank you guys for clicking on today's video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram, English with Seba. See you guys next time.